Hi everyone, today I'm sharing my fall fashion trends for 2020. My autumn lookbook of all the trends you need to know this season. Starting with one of my favorites, neutrals. The less is more approach to color this season that suits my low key style. I'll link everything featured in the description box below, but this cardigan is from the new Autumn 2020 collection at Cezanne, and I'm a little in love with it. In this lookbook, I've styled it with my camel trousers and layered a similar toned sweater underneath. I've added sprinkles of black with my Saint Laurent bag and heels, and just on a half tuck with the cardigan to keep the outfit relaxed. Another way I'd wear these camel trousers I got from Reese would be dressed down with flats and layered with similar tone neutrals. It's how I find the style works best. A case of playing in front of the mirror really until you feel you've got the balance right. I love the luxurious feel a cream or white coat gives off. It's an easy way to suddenly make any outfit look more polished and elevated. I do like those little one piece wonders. Before I forget, if you do like this video and the way I style outfits, all your likes, comments and subscribes are greatly appreciated. Thank you as always for all your support. I'll be honest, I find this next fashion trend for fall tricky to get right. I'm not entirely convinced I suit leather trousers, so I'd be interested to hear your thoughts in the comments below. These are from H&M Premium Collection and the quality is beautiful. I'm just not sure about the side zip which makes them feel more like leggings. Anyhow, leather is a huge trend this season, so I'd say having some of it in your wardrobe, be it a coat, a shirt or trousers, would be a good idea. Another way to style leather this autumn winter would be a little more polished with a blazer. With the happy bonus that this one covers my bum in such skin tight trousers. Now I've gone with mid-heel pumps that are old from Dolce & Gabbana, a clutch bag, but then deliberately chose a more relaxed style shirt to make the overall feel look more effortless. Red, the color trend of the season. Go head to toe or a sprinkle here and there. Just make sure you have a little something of the shade this autumn. Struck down in the middle of it, I built up something to destroy. I dried out in a summer that I didn't know what I was waiting for. Mm -hmm. I fell down by the river, I was screaming just to hear a voice. Side, I was asleep into my very soul. A simple tweak to make your outerwear feel more on trend this season would be to add a belt. Both coats I'm showing you are old, but belting them has brought them right up to date. I like the trend for its simplicity, and I always find nipping in the waist more flattering too. In this look, I wanted to complement the camel tone with a tan leather belt, but I think black would have worked equally well and tied in with my trousers. It doesn't really matter which belt you choose, or the color even, it's just about changing the shape of any coats or blazers you might have in your wardrobe. So I guess for that reason, it's probably one of the most affordable fashion trends for 2020. This cocoon shaped coat is from Everlane and I've paired it with capri pants from H&M and simple belly flats to finish. I do love a midi skirt or two, so I'm pretty chuffed they're back with a vengeance this autumn winter. The key trend this season is specifically denim midis, but I'll show you in a minute how you can mix and match the trends. Here I've paired mine with a lovely cozy cardigan I just got from Project AJ117. 
an indie brand I love. And I think worn together with high boots, it strikes the right balance to being on trend, yet still comfortable at the same time. So here I'm utilizing a couple of different trends, working with leather and that pencil midi shape. Now this skirt must be the bargain of the year, seven pounds from H&M. Funnily enough, it's not real leather, but it's a pretty decent faux version. I wanted to make the look feel more laid back, so I paired it with a t-shirt and cardigan I got from Anina Bing and a sprinkle of gold to finish. I don't think blazers are ever really out of fashion, but this season it's all about the tone and all those gorgeous shades of brown we've been seeing on the catwalk. I love this luxurious rust option I got recently from Reese. The mistake I made with this one, however, was going true to size. I think personally I prefer sizing up in this so it feels a little bit more slouchy. But 10 out of 10 to them for the colour, I just need to tweak the fit. Capes are definitely trending for fall 2020. I've linked some of my favourites from the high street and the designers below. This cape coat I have is pretty old from opening ceremony, seeing a new lease of life thanks to my deep bobbler. When styling this trend, I think the key to it is balance. The very nature of capes are obviously quite wide in shape, so think about slimmer fitting pieces on your bottom half to get the contrast right. Even if cardigans weren't super on trend this fall, I'd definitely be wearing lots anyhow. The key trends are cardigans with a vintage look, open work details, nostalgic looking buttons, and even grandad cardies are having a moment. This version I have is one of my favorite pieces I've bought this season so far. And you'll see over the coming months, I can style it with just about anything. A great find. I really like tucking my cardigans into whatever I'm wearing on my bottom half. Obviously it gives you more shape, but I like the twist it gives to an outfit as well. The overall feel becomes more relaxed, with a bit of a French spirit. I've added a tan belt to this look to break up the fabrics and define my waist more prominently, and added trainers to keep the daywear look casual. Whichever trend you're looking at this season, I truly believe there's a hugely wearable way to style any of them. It's just a matter of having a mix and match in front of the mirror. A trend from spring-summer that's hanging around for another season, statement sleeves are here to stay. Here I've combined two autumn fashion trends in one, gold and sleeve details without actually having to buy anything new. Fashion at its most sustainable. I've started again with my midi skirt, but this time given myself a little more height with matching gold heels. Another summer buy working hard in my wardrobe would be this puff sleeve Cezanne blouse. Perfect for a little statement sleeve trend, and though this exact one has now sold out, I've linked some of their new favourites I've found below. Though the blouse is pretty big and stealing the limelight, so to speak, I like the understated girlfriend jeans styled with it. I've kept the gold heels on, but done a turn up and added a contrasting belt to give the outfit a little twist. Here I wanted to show you how you could turn one simple outfit into something more on trend really, really easily. If you don't have a cape and you don't want to buy into this trend, have a play with some different scarves you might have in your wardrobe. The bigger, the better. Think blanket scarves and you'll be right on the money. It's an easy way to create the cape look without having to invest in a trend that's likely to go out of fashion pretty quickly. I'm a big fan of small details, so I always like a sprinkle of accessories to finish off my outfits. The obvious choice this autumn would be gold rather than silver, as it's one of the colour trends we've been seeing. I tend to layer my jewellery until I feel I've got the balance right, and finish with my new favourite perfume that just arrived. Thank you so much for watching this lookbook with all my autumn and fall trends for 2020. I really hope you found this video helpful and I've given you lots of outfit ideas to try out.